Hello everyone and welcome back once again to the Hilo trailer. So right now I'm about five or six days away from hooking this up to the diesel and I'm going to take the long drive all the way down to Louisiana. Melissa was going to meet me halfway. First of all you can't really find any state campgrounds to uh, stay at and uh, she started a new job, can't get away right now, so I decided I'm just going to drive the whole way down. I haven't seen her for real except for like on Skype for, it's been about three months, so it's definitely time to go see her again. If you guys remember with the fifth wheel before I went down south with that, I installed a, one of those rear view cameras. And that thing worked really nice. I, I really relied on it a lot on the way down, and even though the Hilo trailer drops all the way down, it's still, at least when I pulled it with my half-ton pickup, it's still just as tall as the truck and uh, you couldn't see anything behind you. This isn't nearly as long as the fifth wheel is, but I went ahead and, and got a, a rear view type camera. Unlike the last time, that camera that uh, Melissa, I, I believe Melissa bought that one and sent it to me, for the fifth wheel, that one costed close to $300, or it was $300. This one here is uh, was under $80, just under. It was on uh, clearance. So I picked this one up. Uh, it hooks up to the uh, license plate. It's supposed to be a super easy install, and I'm just hoping that it'll work. This is more of a backup camera, but it does say for RVs, for everything. So all it has to do is have a range from the back of the high-low up here to the dash of my truck and still get a signal, and it should work just fine. It was kind of funny when I was in, uh, I was just at one of the big box uh, lumberyard type places that we have down up here in Minnesota. And when I was walking after I picked this up, I was, I had, I was actually there to pick up some stuff for work. And uh, I went and seen if these were there, and they were, so I got this, and I was walking, and there was a guy there. And of course, I forgot to ask him if I could use his name on the video, so I, I'm not going to. But anyway, it was a fan of uh, both channels, Jones X Survival and uh, Northern Seclusion. Talked to him for a while. They have a cabin up by uh, Sandstone, Minnesota, which is an hour and 40 minutes north of here. And uh, just a real nice guy. It was nice talking to him. So we have our display right there. We've got the camera. Like I said, that just hooks right up to the license plate. It should be really simple. Uh, one thing with the wiring, I did say... I watched a little video on it, and they hook it up to the backup lights because it's a rear, it's a backup camera. So then it only gets powered when you put your vehicle in reverse. I don't want to do it that way, so I'm going to wire this like I did the fifth wheel trailer and hook it up into the license plate light. So then when I want this to be turned on, I just click the running lights on on the truck and the camera should be powered. Then you don't have to worry about seeing the license plate. It's not registered in my name right now yet. I'm gonna just put the, we're gonna put it right into Melissa's name, and then so it'll get Louisiana plates. So these really mean nothing. So with this one here, the actual the, the bracket slips behind the camera sits just like this. Holes line up perfect. I think I, before I hook that up, I'll pull this out and see what kind of a wiring setup is in there. So this is another lighting thing to me. is It's stupid. You know, DC is, is wired differently than 110-volt power. And anyway, this is coming out white and black, even though this is, a, is all battery light. But this is the proper code for DC lighting, and it's black and red. So the red goes to black, and the black will go to the white to be wired correctly. Well, I cut a bunch of the excess wire off the actual camera because I don't have to go a long distance. And I don't like, I'm going to get rid of these connectors because now I'm going to be hooking three wires together. So I just want to do it with a wire nut. Well, I have it hooked up there now. Uh, I do, I did prefer the way it was hooked up on the, the fifth wheel where it's above that center light or just below it, whatever we did. 
this is a real easy hookup but I mean if I'm driving at night and this light is on it could affect the camera I suppose but I normally pretty much only drive during the light hours and then I'll usually get a hotel when it's starting to get dark Well, the license plate light is on, so the camera should be powered. Well, it came right on, so I do want to lower the angle of it a little bit, but otherwise it seems to work pretty good. So it does have the suction cup thing to suction up to your windshield, but that would be illegal here in Minnesota. So just like with the fifth wheel, I'll pull that off. And I'll just put it right there on the floor like I did with the fifth wheel because I don't look at it all the time. Just if I have to pass or something, I'll take a look down there just to see if there's anybody behind me. All right, well, I'm glad that's done. That was a fairly easy install, and you turn the camera on, and it just immediately pops right on. So there was no pairing or anything to do with this one. So, uh, let's see, uh, Sunday, I'm going to bring this thing in, I'm just going to drop it off up at the, there's a little mechanic shop up at the Now Then Garage, just up the road here, Lonnie, he runs it, he's a pretty decent guy, and he's going to go through, and I'm going to have him look at the uh, wheel bearings, and he's going to check the trailer brakes, and you know, just kind of give it a once over to make sure that it can make the 1300 mile trip. Thanks a lot for watching everybody, and we'll see you guys on the next video.